Hey guys, Frank here. Um, I just took, uh, I had these solar panels. I bought these two 100 watt solar panels from a company called Renergy Solar. Awesome people. They're based out of Louisiana. Uh, I believe everything's made here in the U.S. with German components. Not really sure about that, but they're awesome solar panels. Um, putting out the max, 22 and a half volts. But here's the thing here. I um, was looking at a couple of YouTube videos. I have both of them hooked up in 24 volt uh, configuration, which is, you know, uh, in series, I guess, you know, negative to positive, like car battery type thing. Because I have these two 24 volt GTIs that uh, off coming off of my uh, my wind turbine. So um, I was talking to the guy at Renergy, and uh, he told me about configuring them in the 24 volt pattern uh, or fashion because it would uh, generate less. Not generate, that's the wrong word I'm using. It would uh, be less less voltage running through there, less less chance of getting shocked or zapped if I was to put all the panels because I plan on purchasing more and uh, hooking them all up in 12 volt and just single. So he said you lower the voltage, but you're still pumping out a lot of uh, still pumping out a lot of wattage. And you can see here, I just got two 100 watt solar panels hooked up in 24 volt fashion, uh, and they're just sitting. I got a piece of wood bracing them together. I made like a simple, real simple frame, two pieces of wood, and this is what I'm getting. Um, I mean, this is consistent. It's jumping up to 145, 142. There you go, right there. I'm waiting for it to go at 143. I'm waiting for it to go to 150. Now, granted, this is um, it's only like around quarter after 10 in the morning, so um, the sun still hasn't reached its highest point in the sky where it's going to be burning the brightest, and I'm going to have to manually go out there and turn them. But I mean, this is what we're getting, and I got about to be honest with you, I got about a 40 foot lead of quality cable from them. Um, here's the cable right here. You can see right here, really nice stuff. And I just got it jerry-rigged right into the GTI. I didn't have any connectors or nothing, so I ran it into where the um, banana plugs run into. And oh, here we go, 148. I just saw 148 up there. Oh, man, I should have shouldn't have pulled it away. But, um, yeah, I mean, this thing is pumping out. It's really pumping out. So, you know, this is going to really um, enhance the uh, GTI's uh, 149. There you go. Enhance the uh, GTI's... Um, uh, well, you know, the efficiency and, and, you know, the fact that I'm going to be using a lot le less electricity. I'm going to be buying some more, so uh, some more solar panels from them. Uh, I'm going to put them on my shed out back. I believe I showed that to you in a previous video of the solar panels, the Harbor Freight solar panels I have out there now. So now my dilemma is to take them off, and I'm going to have to dedicate either one um, one solar panel or two solar panels to the uh, to the battery charging system out there. Or I'm going to have to pick up a charge controller from Jeff and have to charge some batteries so I can still power my tools up out there. Um, you know, again, these guys at Renergy Solar, not to knock anything, there's 150, not to knock anything from Jeff. Uh, I just happened to find these guys when I was looking online, and they've been great to me. They've uh, gave me some real good discounts and stuff. And the more you buy, obviously, the more you buy, the better the price. But uh, being unemployed and out of work, uh, it's a little hard for me, so I scratch together any cash I can um, and try and do this just to lower the footprint. But it's really working out. I mean, you're seeing it here. I was seeing, you know, anywhere between, it was dropping with the clouds going by because it's a, it's, I don't want to say it's overcast. It's a pretty clear day. There's some real high clouds that are causing some light filtration issues. And you can see that and you can see that reflected. But as the sun gets higher and it starts burning this, uh, this fog off and the, uh, the mist off, you can see it really going to town. But I just wanted to post this. I haven't posted it in a while. Um, I appreciate all your comments you guys are throwing out there to me. Um, this is all dedicated to you guys, so uh, you know, let's keep going forward. Let's keep using what we got here, and uh, you know, for the summertime, you know, it's just like Jeff said and all the other guys said, you know, solar panels for the summertime, um, wind generators for the fall, the winter. Um, I've gotten some pretty stiff breezes out here. Again, I got, you know, I've been moving my uh, wind wind turbine around, and I think it's going to, um, I think it's going to go to a. Um, better spot i'm building the rig for it so i can move it around the yard to get the best wind on it and i haven't gotten around to do that yet i'm actually uh doing some renovations down here in my basement i didn't finish the gym but it's a mess i'm doing some renovations i'm putting a room up down here in my basement so i'm doing some renovations down here so it's a little time consuming trying to get stuff done um but again i appreciate your uh appreciate you watching and uh commenting on the videos guys keep doing that here's some more readings i know i've been holding the thing there and, um, hey, solar's way to go at the summertime with the sun beating down the way it is. This is the way to do it. It's the way to beat the heat and beat the bills. All right, guys, take it easy. Have fun out there. Remember, go solar.